Good morning, my dear brethren. May the Lord bless you very richly. Today's devotional is titled, Spiritual Blessings in Christ. And we're going to read in the letter by the Apostle Paul to the Ephesians in chapter 1, as of verse 3 to 6. And the word of our God says the following. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places in Christ, just as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love, having predestined us to adoption as sons by Jesus Christ to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will, to the praise of the glory of his grace, by which he made us accepted in the beloved. My dear brethren, this is one of the letters that Paul wrote from prison. He wrote it, this beautiful and deep letter from a jail in Rome. But he's not a defeated man. He's not a man that we see him complaining and whining and destroyed, but he's a man who transmits encouragement and word of God because he was a man that he was trenched in the glory of the Lord. He was a man who had a tremendous communion with the Lord. And it is true that he suffered for the cause of the gospel. They persecuted, they stoned him, they lashed him, but he always maintained the stability, his balance, his trust in the Lord was above any test or above any difficulty. Paul says here that the Lord has blessed us. We are already blessed by the Lord. That's why how sad it is how some Christians who do not know, let's say, enjoy from what they already have in the Lord. They're always with fears and they're always seeing the enemy where he's not. When the Bible says, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who blessed us with every, every spiritual blessing, everything that we ever need to live powerful and victorious Christian lives, we already have. We don't have to be afraid of the enemy. We don't have to be afraid of our past, of anything or anyone, because we are blessed in the name of the Lord. His presence is with us. He will accompany us every day of our lives. The Bible says on top of that, that He predestined us, He chose us from before the foundation of the world. It is incomprehensible for our finite mind, for our little brain, to understand this sovereign decision from God. Before the, the sun existed, the moon, the stars, he already had chosen us before the foundation of the world, knowing that Adam and Eve were going to disobey him and they were going to sin. Equally, he created them, knowing that man was going to be corrupted. Like, for example, in the generation of Noah, God even created him. And he knew everything that was going to occur throughout history. And he chose the human race for salvation so that we could become his children in part of his family, in part of his body. Knowing that even sending his only begotten son into the world, they would reject him, they would crucify him, and they were going to deny him in front of the Roman authorities of, this, of the time. He sent him, the, he sent him to take our place on the cross. The immense love of God, the sovereign choices of God really leave us surprised with the mouth open until today. For many years that we have in their past, no matter how much knowledge or maybe little, uh, a small knowledge that we have, we will never be able to understand the love of God. Because why, why did he uh, chose us? Why did he want to restore us and die on the cross in such a vile and, and humiliating way? We will never be able to understand it in, the to in totality. Perhaps we will have all the time in the world, eternity, to be able to understand this sovereign and magnificent choice of our God. On the other hand, the Bible says that he created us for praise of his glory. The human being, the human, the nations have created many problems, if I may say, to our God. And he has very disappointed with us, although he knows us very well because he created us. But someday 
each everyone and each one of us will give him joys and satisfactions to our God because in the end he created us for his glory to pray to the praise of his name and time will tell that show that God um, deposited his Holy Spirit in our lives in our hearts he knew what he was doing God was not wrong God did not have a plan B if the human fails then I will choose the animals or the angels. No, my my beloved br uh, brethren. He chose us. He decided to make us part of his family. And he we will never have enough vocabulary or words to thank him for what he did. And that represents that God has called me, that God has chosen me before the foundation of the world to bless me, to make me a, a child of his, I don't have words and adjectives to be able to thank God for so much love, for so much grace, for so much mercy, for so much undeserved favor. But that is our God. It is not the God that punish, that enjoys punishing us, that enjoys that we have a bad time, but rather the opposite. Our God is a good God forever, are His mercies. And we want to thank Him this morning And we want to bless him and pray together to him, giving him all the glory and the honor and infinitely grateful for everything that he has done and will continue to do in each one of our lives. Let's pray to our God. Blessed Heavenly Father, we give you thanks, my God, for this privilege that you give us to address you as children. Not, we're not talking about a, a strange God and a distant God and an unknown God that has not made himself known, but on the contrary. Thank you, Lord, for your love. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for, because you have blessed us with all spiritual blessing. And help us, Lord, to discover the greatness of that wonderful work that you have done on the cross for us. Resurrected resurrecting on the third day and sitting at the right hand of your Father and interceding every day for us. Lord, keep us from all bad influence. Keep us from all this day, from all danger and all evil that we may enjoy of our communion, of our relationship with you. And we will always give you all the glory and the honor in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Just stay with these final words. Blessed is Is he is the God of our fa uh, and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ who blessed us with all the spiritual blessings in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus our Lord. Let's enjoy today of these privileges. Let's enjoy today of our communion with God, with our intermediaries, directly with Him, as from Son to Father, from Father to Son. May the Lord bless you. Let's enjoy today of that communion with the Lord. Let's share with everyone this privilege of knowing God to have him in our lives because many people unfortunately do not know him or have him I, go ahead brothers let's move forward there is a long way to go blessings to all of you in this new day